Hi everybody. How is everybody doing today? Oh, I just realized I forgot to take off my mask. I'm at home so I can take off my mask now. Um, you're probably seeing lots of people wearing masks all around and that's a good thing. That means we're all trying to keep each other safe. So that was my mask and I'm sure you've seen your parents wearing masks and maybe even you guys have masks. Um, so I just wanted to take off my mask since I'm at home now so now you can see my face. So hi guys. I just want to say hi to everybody. Hi Aiden J. Hi Aiden G. Hi Clayton. Hi Colin. Hi Farron. Hi Juliana. Hi Jaden. Hi Joey. Hi Logan. Hi Mackenzie. Hi Rosie. And hi Sophia. I sure do miss you guys and I can't wait till we can get back together again. But until then, hello, hello, hello from your computer. <laughs> so it's story time. Um, and the book that I've chosen to read today makes us use our imaginations. Something we talk about a lot at school before we read books is, does this look like it's a true story or a make-believe story? So let's look at the cover. And the book we're going to read is called My Dinosaur. And look, there's a little girl riding on the back of a dinosaur. Do you think that is a true story or a make-believe story? If you guessed make-believe, you're right. Because dinosaurs are extinct, this can't be a true story, right? Because there's a little girl writing on the back of it. So we need to use our imagination to read this story. And the other reason that I chose this book is because I love the illustrations or the pictures in it. I think the pictures are just so fantastic. So pay special attention to the pictures and make sure you're ready to use your imagination. This is called My Dinosaur by Mark Allen Weatherby. My Dinosaur by Mark Allen Weatherby. Late at night, when the moon is full, I wait by the window for my dinosaur. Will he come tonight? At first, I can't see him, but I can hear him. I look hard. Is that his tail behind the tree? I run outside through the dark forest and whistle. That's our signal. Now he knows I'm here. My dinosaur. First we play hide and seek in the shadows. When I find him, I tiptoe up behind him and surprise him. Next, I climb up on his back. We take a night ride through the forest. My dinosaur runs so fast it feels like we're flying. My dinosaur never scares the night creatures. They like him. I wave as we race by. When we get thirsty, my dinosaur stops at the river. We take a drink. We swim in the moonlit water. The fish jump up to say hello. My dinosaur lifts me above the treetops and stretches his neck to the sky. I can almost reach the stars. When the first rays of the sun come up, it's time to go. As we gallop home, I sing my goodbye song 
Good night, my dinosaur. Sleep tight, my dinosaur. Soon I'll see you again, my very best friend. Good night. Sleep tight, my dinosaur. My dinosaur lifts me to my window. He waits until I am under the covers. Then, quiet as a mouse, he heads for home. Look, see his eye. At breakfast, I yawn. Ah, how did you get leaves in your hair, my mother asks me. I played with my dinosaur last night, I tell her. That's nice, she says. Do you think her mother believes her? I look out the window, but my great old friend is gone. He will come back again when the moon is full. I know my dinosaur always does. So what do you think? Do you think the dinosaur was really there? Or do you think she was using her imagination? Okay, so that was my dinosaur. And did you use your imagination? Great, well, I'm gonna ask you to use your imagination one more time. I'd like you sometime today to go to your window and look outside. And first, with your parents' help, you can make a list of things that you see that are real. So not using your imagination, you're just going to write down things you see. Maybe you see a tree or a squirrel or clouds. Maybe it's raining. Maybe you see chairs or a picnic table, maybe a fire pit. You look out and see what you really see out your window. Then when that list is finished, I want you to try again. This time, use your imagination. Do you see any dinosaurs hiding in your backyard? Maybe not dinosaurs, maybe you see unicorns. Maybe you see something else. Use your imagination and see what you think you can see. And I'm gonna put my mask back on. And we've been seeing lots of people walk around with masks on, right? Um, and they're not meant to be scary. They're meant to keep us safe. We're always talking about germs at school. And this is, this is one way one more way to protect us from getting some, some germs that could make us sick. So um, you see a lot of people wearing these. So next time you see your moms or dads or grandmas and grandpas or just people walking around in the grocery store wearing masks, I want you to use your imagination. Maybe pretend that they're part of the Avengers. Maybe you think it's some kind of a, an animal or a dinosaur or an, a unicorn. Maybe you think it's Iron Man. Maybe you think it's Spider-Man. You decide what you think people look like wearing their masks. And this is what I look like. So I think I'll be a rainbow unicorn. So you guys have a great day. And um, I put a little activity in the email to get you up and moving like a dinosaur. So you can do some dinosaur exercises today. And everybody have a great day. Um, and until next time, um, I'm thinking about you. Bye, guys.